Yeah, I just heard that the name of this fish is Gai Lang. No, it's not really. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's Gai Lang. Gai Lang. Yeah. You know what? Vietnamese is very difficult. It's very difficult language. Six tones. Six tones. Two food trippers. Today, we're, today we're here with our friends. We're here with our friends. This is Mai. Mai is our local Vietnam Hanoi in particular fixer, and she has um, hooked us up with this amazing Chaka restaurant called Chaka Phan. Yes. Um, and we are going to eat Chaka. Um, or well, how would you pronounce Chaka, Mai? It's Cha. Cha ka. Cha ka. All right, let's put it this way. We're not going to be learning Vietnamese in the next like two weeks, and uh, we're going to do the best we can, so it's going to be cha ka, but I'll go back to my every time we want to say cha ka properly. Cha ka. Cha ka. Yeah, you got it. You got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it. So we're going to eat some cha ka. Um, the thing to know about it is um, it's a sort of melange uh, that's blended with a uh, fish that's cooked in mostly in turmeric. And what else is it cooked in? Dill. Dill, which is some really an unusual spice for Vietnam. I'm going to guess that the dill probably came from Europe and through those kind of influences. Um, we also have peanuts. We have beautiful sort of a basil-esque sort of Vietnamese herb. We have the um, fennel. We have, we have scallions. We have this wonderful shrimp paste. The shrimp paste is a key here because it kind of seasons everything up. It kind of gives it that sort of umami kick. Um, and we're going to eat some chaka. But you know what's missing? What? The fish. The fish. <laughs> the fish. Exactly. The fish is coming. And of course, Mindy, you're going to be adding some chilies, right? Of course. Of course. Of course. So, but not a lot because it was so delicious the first time we ate it. Yeah. I want to just make sure I get all the flavors here. It's so good. And luckily, there's a lot of noodles for you. Of course. Last time you ate half the noodles. Of course. <laughs> so come eat some chaka with us. We're here, Hanoi, Vietnam. So we put lemon juice in here and then stir it. You can see uh, the fish have a very thick fat. Bun. 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 No. Bun. Bun. B U N. Bun. A bun. A bun. I like bun cha. Yeah, that that one. A little bit this one. And then we have fish. Table. Okay. many writing in English about this so that's why I bring to two food paper here I hope that you can uh, introduce this place to people around the world because it's worth, uh, it's worth to have to be on the internet and somebody need to know about this because the very good chakra the original and the uh, taste is very authentic and also with the family and listen it two food trippers we are brave enough to have shrimp paste there's a lot of people that don't know how I, to eat. I think that those people are missing out because the shrimp paste sort of gives it that that sort of long trailing funk that you get like in cheese, that you get in various different meats. It's okay. it's really what we call umami, but I don't know if they want to say umami because that's more of a Japanese thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I, I believe they will be synonymous. Would take a little bit of green. It smells in. like blue cheese. Smell it. A little bit, kind of, sort of. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, that's those funky flavors, the little bit of spoilage that makes the food so delicious. Okay, well we're going to um, eat this right now. We're going to mix it up a little bit. I think most of the Vietnamese food is very balanced between the protein sauce like fish or meat and we have vegetable mm. and we have a lot of sauce of mm. to balance everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we love the Vietnamese food. So mm. the wow. I just had this fish and I don't know who got the idea of putting turmeric into the whole works. Because turmeric is such a associated with more South Asia, more India, yeah, right. et cetera, et cetera. What do you think? How do you think that? Whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Five oh, seconds. Whoa, fire, right? Oh, oh, fire. Careful, you almost knocked over the fire. Oh. love rice noodles and this is like heaven for me because it's a big bowl of rice noodles with all kinds of flavors going on. I haven't even tried the fish yet. I'm so excited to take a taste of that. Mm. 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 Well, there's something very refined about this dish. This is definitely a dish. I, I think that you, would you say this This is from the street or is this something that you would serve at home? And where, where did this come from? This one is some, something to serve at home because the special this dish is about the fish. Mm. This kind of fish is is very difficult to buy in the market and you have to get a special order. The meat of the fish is very firm, even you cook it for long term. Mm. And the fat and the balance between the fat and the meat is very good. It's not too fatty. I like all of it. I like the rice noodles, I like the flavors. And I guess at the end of the day, I like the crunchy bits the best. Crunchy bits, a favorite among me. Um, <laughs> I do have to ask Mai over here. Mai, now you've been in the United States. What's your favorite thing to eat? Okay, because I'm mainly in uh, Maryland and New York and Washington. So I think and Philly is also. So let me see. Um, crab cake? Crab cake? Crab cake. In Maryland. Yeah, but what about Philly? Cheesesteak. Cheesesteak. Oh, Look at this. Cheesecake. All the way out in Vietnam, the woman loves cheesesteaks. I've had vegan. We can't escape. I've got to show you a roast pork sandwich next time you come through town. So we're going to enjoy the rest of our chaka. We really want to thank Mai from, and Mai if you want to give us, what is your website? Uh, my, my, my website is uh, www.wordpress.com. So that's Tho Loves Food, T-H-O at wordpress, wordpress.com. Yeah. We're going to give you a little forward on that okay. on our blog post. Um, once again, this is fabulous. It's a feast. And awesome enough, it's not expensive. It's worth paying a lot for this kind of meal, but you don't have to here. How much did this cost us? I think it's about six six bucks. Six bucks for all of this food? Yep. Six bucks per person. I mean. Per person. Yeah. Per, per person. Hey, can you beat this? Everybody, get yourself out to Vietnam. Yeah, you gotta come here. The you food is so good. And where else can you have chaka? And not only that, but it feels like it's cooling down. I think if you noticed, the beginning of the video, I started out a lot more sweaty than the end of the video. So That could be the fan, though. Uh, I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Coke, please. <laughs> no, uh, for Daryl. And Mindy. And my, as our special guest, Yay. we are the two Food. trippers. Please follow us on YouTube. Give us a little like. Please subscribe. Glad to see everybody seems to be liking what we're doing here. Um, we're going to get going. Uh, we eat. We travel. We, we eat and, and travel. travel. All right, see you later, everybody. Mm. I got to finish my fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.